All right, my loves, and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report with me, Jyoti. So this is an astrological report through the Galactic Mayan calendar for the 25th of September, 2023. So I'm actually filming this video on Equinox. So sending lots and lots of love to wherever you are in the world where I am it's autumn equinox so we are wherever we are we're in this space of balance between the light and the dark today we've got this equally distributed moment and where I'm located we're now about to go into our descent I've got a few really exciting things are you ready <laughs> do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. The next edition of the Galactic Mayan Astrological Diary is out now. So if you haven't already gotten the bandwagon with these journals, they're amazing because you know the big thing about the way that this astrology comes to life is through our personal experience. So at the beginning of the journal, there's like a lovely juicy introduction to all things galactic mind astrology with explanations of how it all works with breakdowns of all of the signs and then for each wave spell we have a little bit of information a beautiful poem about the essence of each wave spell and also every time we go into a new moon because we have this certain moon energy too is a breakdown of how to journey that and then you go to page a day which tells you the galactic mayan energy and the gregorian date so you just muse into it but then when you go back and you're like hey what was the energy today holy shit my experiences totally match up so get your copy now the new cycle begins on the 21st of october i'll put the links below and do you know what else is happening on the 21st of october the cosmic quest so I'm teaming up with Taco. You might have seen the other video that I released on my channel. And that gives you a breakdown of what we're doing. Um, but yeah, like Taco has been journeying the Wheel of the Year, the ancient Celtic Wheel of the Year for a long gold while. And obviously I've been working with the Dream Spell for a really long time. And both of these time frameworks, both of these cyclical rhythms of our movement through space give us evolutionary anchors and invitations. So the cosmic quest is an overlaying of these two frequencies. The wheel of the year really grids us into that ancient, ancestral, natural cycle. You know, it helps us to journey alongside everything else that lives because everything else that lives is in deep surrender to seasonal energy to these points of solar alignment you know and it acts accordingly whereas humans the way that we operate you know we might be going into a descent but we're like in a completely different frequency because we've got these noggins and obviously you know all about the dream spell and the magic that comes through that so we're actually holding this like 13 moon quest <gasps> you went for the confirmation. and yeah each like every two weeks we're going to have like a ceremonial call online each week you're going to get a big download in various kinds of media to support you to grid into the energy of each particular week and you know there's going to be so much that that comes from it so we're having a free webinar on the 1st of october which is next weekend to give you a taster of what it's all about so it's actually happening on the sunday yeah sunday the first at 2 p.m uk time which means that it'll then be accessible for people all over wherever you are and if you can't join in live if you register you will then get the replay too and that's just you know it's a free taste of the magic that the two of us together brings and what these two modalities bring together and yeah so i'll put the link for signing up to the webinar down there and once we've done the webinar then there's going to be the opening of jump on board with us and it actually like the cosmic quest sets off on the first of october uh, on the 21st of october so on the first day as a galactic mind spin so it's like a really like yes we're in alignment on purpose 
And the final thing, before I move into sharing the magic um, of what this wave spell that's coming up is all about, is that I am opening a handful of places to work one-to-one -one with me for women. So this is a, a womb initiation where we journey together for three moons and it's a coaching program that supports you through the galactic mind calendar to align with your essence essentially so we do lots of shadow work we do lots of visioning and you just essentially get access to all of the juice all of the jyoti juice um, and yeah because obviously i'm birthing many different things i got this call to do this work but i can tell that it's, I'm only going to take three women at a time because I really want to devote and it felt really important to yeah to just give space because I feel like you know with my teachers with my experiences and with me being a red dragon I do hold that frequency of you know the the ancient divine feminine and once you've kind of been activated once those codes have been activated they then remain active and you then pass them on to the next sister to the next sister to the next sister so if you're ready to open to that frequency book in a free call and let's connect one to one and see if we match up okay so all of that said i've got some company now i'm just gonna keep keep rolling because that's what i do in it you know how my videos go so we're moving into a whole new wave spell 13 day journey and the archetype that we're moving into journey with is the energy of the blue eagle so blue signs as you probably know by now these blue energies and if you don't know anything about galactic mind astrology have a dig through my channel and you'll find out how this works but the blue energies are all about transformation so we're going on a 13 day journey of transformation where we go from one way of being to another way of being and the blue eagle energy specifically is all about our planetary service and you know with us being in this overtone wizard year we're really in a time of all of us gridding into our planetary service together so each person hi each person finding and actualizing their peace is what supports us to actualize our collective peace so it's not just like our individual essence coming online to serve it's then what that creates as a whole new infrastructure and this is why you know again with my work with women with the cosmic quest with all of the stuff that i feel that i offer it's about each person finding their flavor of planetary service because you know when we actually look at our astrology you know the red dragon is, is mother hence all of my stuff with children and all of this stuff with rebirthing and supporting people to rebirth themselves but when we actually are able to tune into like what our specific piece is and that comes from being able to tune into our depths and who we are through astrological insight through looking at our personal history we then get to see like ah my piece is this piece because I think sometimes what can happen, you know, when we're like on this path or whatever you want to fucking call it, like everyone's looking for this reference point all the time of like, ooh, that person's an archetype that I would like to be like and I'm going to like do all the things that they do. And that's part of the, part of the mission, isn't it? Because I think the things that we, we experience that support us to transform, we then want to share. But we're not meant to be carbon copies of each other. And our soul is this like individual fragment that's part of the whole. So when it comes to a 13 day journey with the Blue Eagle, we really journey in like what it is that our individual essence wants to bring to the world. And the beautiful thing about our individual essence, like I say, is that it grids into everybody else's individual essence. You know, and this is why human design is another thing that I share through my programs and that I use individually because it supports us to see like, ah, this is my role in the team and this is your role in the team. So this journey of the Blue Eagle is like, as we, okay, this is my piece, it then automatically opens us up to like, ah, and you've got your piece and can we see how those pieces fit together and holy shit, what have we created? 
cosmic quest vibes. So the other piece of blue eagle energy, there's many, as you know, as you watch these videos, like my intuition guides me to speak into different aspects of each archetype, depending on the time that we're in. But the other piece that feels to want to come through around the blue eagle energy is this thing of the bigger picture. You know, the reason that the blue eagle is the blue eagle. I've got a really itchy nose. I'm sat around grass, just claiming that. It's also my knowings, but yeah, I'm itchy. <laughs> but yeah, so this thing of the bigger picture, you know, the way that eagles operate is that they take in like the whole of the landscape. And I'm going to do a little shot at the end just to show you where I'm sat because I couldn't position the camera. So this is the backdrop, but you know, I'll show you because we've got bigger picture vibes going on over there. Um, but yeah, the way that the eagle operates is like taking in the whole picture and then knowing at exactly the right time, okay, now I'm going in because I can see that little mouse and I want that little mouse. And I'm, poof, I'm in and I'm out. So there's an element of this that's about divine timing and it's about bigger picture. So when it comes to the actualization of our planetary service, when it comes to the steps of our planetary service, when it comes to the moment of action in regard to our planetary service, it's a divine moment where we are in presence and then it happens and this is totally what's happened with assumed creatives this alternative school that i've been birthing for 10 years it was just like right now's the time boof and then it just burst from nowhere like shit and wow but also shit <laughs> yeah so the themes that we are exploring what does my essence want to bring to the world in order to serve creation if i'm in devotion to creation whether that's you know human specific or wider picture what do i want to bring forward like what is the thing that sets me alight because it's the thing that sets us alight that is our planetary service it's like ah, oh, i love doing this and i'm actually pretty fucking good at it and that's my piece and this is why, you know, astrology and things like this are so helpful because it, it helps to steer us. Because I think, you know, there's just so much complication or complexity, maybe not complication. I find it quite complicated and stressful, but <laughs> complexity in the amount of opportunity that is available to us. And there's a lot of noisy voices. There's a lot of noisy influences and it makes it quite difficult sometimes to be like, what's my voice you know to quiet enough to hear and this is you know the invitation of the blue eagle that bigger picture isn't just like the expanded vision and it's also the like the quiet presence so for this 13 day journey you've been invited to to take some time to feel in and to discover what your essence self wants to bring forward and i can help you with that wing bears get in touch with me and then from that place of like recognition, it's then the divine timing and the trusting of the divine timing. So the themes that we are gonna be confronted with, feeling a bit lost, feeling a bit overwhelmed, like I don't know how to bring what I want to bring to the world, or I don't know what I wanna to bring to the world, or I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Or I want it to happen all right now. Or I can't sit still enough and I don't have enough space to make it happen. So how do we journey that? You know, how do we journey that? And I think the biggest piece is the softening. You know, and in the part of the world that I'm at, you know, this really complements the beauty of the equinox, the autumn equinox, because, you know, we are going into this more internal, dying off, shedding time. So for the next 13 days, we are exploring what it is that we want to bring. What is the code? Because we're all encoded with a piece of the new earth puzzle. Like what is your code? And the way that you look at what is your code, you can look at your astrology, you can look at your history, you can look at the things that you've journeyed. But fulfillment is a flavor that we feel like when we're doing that thing time disappears when we're doing that thing we're like super in it 
and we love it and it feeds us and that's what we're meant to be doing that's meant to be there's no right and wrong but there is an aligned space and when we're in alignment the things that we're doing feel connected to creation feel right in our bodies in our minds and our emotions and yeah like as i'm learning with the birthing of these seemed creatives there are parts of us that have to grow up there are parts of us that have to die off there are parts of us that need to be fed in new ways in order for us to come into that place of this is what my essence is here to bring because our human selves and our essence aren't necessarily <laughs> on the same page all the time but this is the beauty of our planetary service you know it's like as we heal and transform the limitations within us our essence is able to emerge through us because there's a space whereas when we're in this like fearful projecty limitation place our essence can't embody properly it can't speak to us because it's so trapped so obviously always the primary objective is to like clear up create space internally and then listen to our essence and your rising is my rising is our rising you know and this is the other really big piece of the puzzle like there is enough space for all of us even if our planetary service looks really similar even if our essence is really similar we're on the same team and there's enough you shine in your light, you being your deepest, most beautiful, most powerful self doesn't take anything away from anyone else, it actually gives them permission. So you rising into your greatness, you expanding to fill your field, actually permits other people to do the same. And sometimes our planetary service isn't so obvious. You know, sometimes we're just here to shine. Some people, particularly you yellow star crew, you're just here to glow, man. And through your joy and glowing, that's what changes everything. So it kind of doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're joyful and glowing. And that's kind of true for all of us, but, you know, it's just that recognition that we are all one big thing. We are all one big family. And each one of us has got a different flavour of actualization. But we are all here to actualize together and this is the time on the planet in it so planetary service is the key and your planetary service is your fulfillment so find your fulfillment and if you don't know what your fulfillment is what it feels like play play for a bit explore but play and then from that place bing and every time you go into a, a moment of being like i can't do that i can't be seen like that because blah, 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 blah. Just recognise it as a skin, don't listen to it. You can honour it, you can give space to it, but don't allow it to make you small. And don't let the opinions and rejections and blah 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 of everyone else have any influence, my love. What's right for you is right for you. Fuck the haters. Get your diary. Sign up to the webinar on the 1st of October and if you want to work with me one on one, get in touch with me. 10 million links are below for you. And I send you so much love and so much gratitude and all of the Equinox blessings and yes. Mm. Big kisses, darlings. Bigger picture. Zoom on out. Claim your space and grid into your snout. <laughs>